do happen to see my feet by any chance, then let me just tell you, uh, they might be dirty, they might be not what you were expecting, um, because this is not meant to satisfy your fetishes, uh, we're not in Nickelodeon, we're in Jellyfish Corpse Channel! <laughs> I don't know, I'll kind of lower my voice if that's okay with you because I just want, um, I just want you to feel, uh, kind of eased down a little bit, um, because of the topic of the video and because it's like a sleepover so I don't have to talk too loud. I don't have the best microphone so I'm sorry about that, uh, but so I was just gonna talk about the stuff that helps me when I have a mental breakdown or meltdown or however you want to call it. Usually what happens is that I know that it's going to happen but then it try to put it off because uh, one of the signs of when I'm about to have it is that I feel very very overwhelmed and I just feel so tense and like it may sound awful but it, I kind of discharge it not 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 like on purpose to someone it's just that typically i'll be more irritable that day that that thing will happen and i think that you can prepare or you know uh if you can also like identify when this is gonna happen it's like a storm basically like it will always give you a hint it cannot cut uh like catch you of surprise but um, <clears throat> these are just my ways, the stuff that I do. Um, I don't mean that it's going to <clears throat> prevent you from getting them. No, it's healthy to get them. What is not healthy is to put them off because then they will be more intense and more out of your control, which is what happens to me. And then I end up hurting people because of that, or I end up hurting myself more because the mental breakdowns are way more intense because uh, I've been putting them off. <laughs> it's like, it's gonna happen whether you like it or not. That's why I don't want to have a baby. <laughs> it's sort of the same process. Um, but, so, yeah, so, <laughs> let's get started. Um, first of all, if you are having a mental breakdown as you're watching the video, or if you happen to have it after watching my video, or if you happen to have it uh, before you watch my video, that's why you clicked on it, um, uh, uh, here, 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 look, 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 it's a puppy, it's a puppy, do you wanna, do you wanna pet it, uh, okay, I'd have to cut it so that I can move the paw, but let's just pretend, Um, I, I, I know that was very silly, I'm sorry, um, I'm sorry if I'm too close, uh, I just, I just want you to feel like, and I am right here with you, okay, I, I will hug you, I'll pretend that the pillow is you, <laughs> and if you got discouraged by my voice being a little bit like a baby, I'm sorry, uh, it tends to happen, especially when I'm talking about the little angels that I'm gonna mention throughout this video. <laughs> I don't think there will be like any sassy intros uh, <laughs> for this one. I just want to send you a kiss uh, so that you feel much better. Um, okay, 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 I'll get started. I'm sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, okay, so the first thing that I try to do um, is start listening to Mr. Rogers because it will make me cry instead of, I don't know, perhaps trying to break stuff or hit stuff or et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Whatever other thing that could happen when, you know, it's out of your control and it's too much for you to handle. <laughs> Listening to Mr. Rogers songs, you can search him up in Spotify as, wait, I think it's, yeah, you literally have to write because you know that Spotify is very, like, uh, it's kind of hard to find someone if you type it the wrong way. So it took me a while to find like the album with his songs. I just want to tell you that I didn't know who Mr. Rogers was. I did not grow up watching him or anything. I had no idea. But then 
this year like I had a cottage core account and this other girl who had a cottage core account she posted wholesome videos about Mr. Rogers and many other like kids shows and that's how I got to know who he was and I started listening to all of his songs if you want I could uh, sing for you uh, again I don't have the best microphone but I could try and sing to to calm you down is that okay is that okay with you yes if it's not, you can just, you know, skip it. <laughs> oh, wait a second, I'm looking for the... Um, I'm so silly, I can type it out. I can just, I can just cut this part. Oh, it's just, it's just, I'm very excited. Oh, okay, okay. It's you I like Not the things you wear Not the way you do your hair Even though I will still appreciate it because I, I use Diva Curl for my curls. Right now it's relaxed, but like, I, when I had like curly hair, I used to spend freaking up to 100 bucks on my hair. <laughs> so, um, I appreciate, I appreciate what you do with your hair, <laughs> but I'm just singing the song. Okay. But it's you I like the way you are right now. The way down deep inside you, not the things that hide you, not your toys, that's just beside you. I'm sorry if I'm not like in the tune, <laughs> but um, I, I, that, okay, okay. But it's you, you I like, every part of you, your skin, your eyes, especially when they glow because you're happy, which is what I'm trying to do right now. Make them shine. Okay, which one else goes? Your feelings. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Whether old or new, I hope that you'll remember when, even when you're feeling blue. That is you I like. It's you yourself. It's you. It's you I like. <laughs> I bet that was awful, but I don't care because um, I know you felt my love, so that's enough for me. <laughs> but yeah, he has like many songs like this. I don't know if I can post some pictures because then I'll get a copyright claim. I'm still new to this, but uh, maybe if I talk over him. <gasps> maybe I could put the video while I was singing, but then then I would interrupt like the eye contact Because hmm. I love making eye contact um, uh, uh, Cuz like I think that that way we connect more when I'm singing and stuff So I don't know. I guess I'll just keep on talking about him and I'll put the image right here. Is that okay with you? Yes. Yes, okay <laughs> um so I discovered Mr. Rogers, and in most of his songs, every single lyric, it's like a conversation, like he's talking to you, which is what I enjoy the most and I value the most, because every single lyric is so real and it's so genuine, and it's not like he's talking even though it is a kid's show. Uh, he wanted it to be more than that. You can watch the documentary in Popcorn Time. I'll leave that link down below. Um, it's a it's a very beautiful documentary. You can see how much he cares about it. I think that at, at, uh, I also follow like Fred Rogers Society, uh, Society or Foundation. I don't remember the account. It's an account on Instagram, and every Friday it posts like a quote from Fred Rogers. And um, what else was I going to say? Uh, he is he has a very soothing voice, and he has a very. Uh, He's very soft spoken, slow spoken, so that you really pay attention to what he's saying and what he means by it, and that he really, really means it for you. Um, it's very beautiful uh, the, the the stuff that he does, indeed, <laughs> and it just calms me down because, as I said, it will just realize my favorite album album of his i think it's nighttime it has so many soft songs which makes me even because i kind of don't want to edit this video so much because i want you to, to you know like be with me if that makes any sense um mr rogers uh albums hmm. he has ah yeah he has you're growing you're special 
uh, and bedtime and coming and going. And my favorite time, my favorite one is bedtime. It has a song especially that I listen to a lot, even though the meaning is about taking care of your parents, uh, because the lyrics are about, uh, I'll take care of you, take good care of you. For once I was so little too. Now I take care of you. So yeah, you get the meaning. It's kind of for like grandparents and parents and kids and the it's so wholesome. Like everything he does, it's it it that's what I mean. Like it just gives you some calmness. It Oh my gosh. Like he really shaped this year for me and I've listened to him a lot even when I'm not having a mental breakdown like he makes my day so happy because he has so many different songs that make you look forward to living it's crazy isn't it because it's just a kid's show a puppet show that's what other people see in the surface but it's so much more um so yeah, you should get, totally give it a try as you're crying and it helps you let everything out because you feel safe to express how you feel. He talks a lot about mental health, about feelings, about emotions. So yeah, um, I hope that I convinced you <laughs> to check him out. He's a very wonderful, wonderful human being. Of course he is flawed, so I wouldn't say he's an angel. What I mean is that he's an angel to me, not a saint. But an angel. <laughs> so the next uh, song, a uh, songwriter, lyricist, uh, singer that I want to talk about is Sleeping At Last. Oh my gosh, if that's not such a soothing name, like at last, finally, you're calm. Um, uh, he got popular because of the covers that he made, but personally, when you dive into his own personal projects and he has a podcast as well that I will I will I will put that all into the description box so don't worry um but he uh he I I've, I've mentioned him before he has so many songs all of the songs have such meaning behind him they are so personal and it feels like he's talking to you even though uh, opposite to Mr. Rogers, that's not his point. Like it's not, it's not his objective to talk to you or to speak to you. Um, it's up to interpretation. Most of his songs, but all of them have a meaning, which is what he uh, he in the podcast tries to explain. He has uh, an album called Atlas. Uh, with the Enneagram, which is which are the different types of Enneagram and he has a song for them. He has an EP uh, of the senses of the space, so it's astronomy, so he has many uh, planets. He has a division for land, which talks about uh, the north, south, um, east, west. He has another one that is about the oceans, um, another one about light senses or senses like it's basically about the origins of the universe and of life and every single cover is made with watercolors and it's just inspired me to want to try watercolors which i think it's very soothing on its own all of his songs are full of hope they're full of grief well literally quite literally he has another division of songs which are about grief anger pain happiness joy all of the titles, all of them are about an emotion or a body part like heart, lungs. Uh, so as I said, it's about the human body, human emotions, humans and life and everything around us, nature and astronomy and planets. He has, he's so passionate about astronomy that every time there is an astronomical event, he just makes a song about that. Like if there's a, an eclipse, then he will make a, a song just about that. And what I mean is that he's not commercial or uh, mainstream to try to sell something. He's so humble, so sweet. And you can see that I already I already felt that before he came up with the podcast. But he, his podcast is just amazing. He even does this thing in which, as I mentioned before, he may not be that popular, but it's just so raw. And it really, really does calm me down. It makes me feel... It, it makes me feel grounded and it makes me feel so hopeful for the next day as well um, it's a total different feeling than Mr. Rogers but I'm just 
this is just a compilation of what has worked for me and you may see that all of them come to the same thing but I promise you all of them are a different experience on their own so the next thing that I wanted to talk about was special books by special kids and this is actually a youtube channel he goes around the world interviewing people with different conditions and um uh and treatments and diagnosis and even the ones that we cannot see for example i do have a condition the side of my liver transplant but it's not something that you can actually see and he values that he values not only um people who have uh, visible, dis uh, uh, how do you say that in English, uh, visible, well I'll just say problems or conditions, but he also interviews people that are blind, that are deaf, that have mental uh, illnesses or, <clears throat> and, and yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's very, very, aside of interesting and ed educational, I think that the biggest takeaway that I take from it is just how human and how connected like we all are and that may, it may sound cheesy but every time I watch his videos the people in there they have it so much worse than we do and it makes me feel grateful not not because they have it worse than me no 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 it's not that kind of takeaway no because they are so contagious. They are so unbelievably happy. You have to meet them. It just makes me want to meet every single world out there. That, And obviously, I'm not generalizing. It doesn't mean that everyone that has a condition is like that. It's just so interesting. It's so amazing. You would never expect that. And I guess that's what it tries to do. It tries to break that, um, I don't know if it's a stereotype, but that assumption that... Uh, uh, you know how people look at them with pity or they just look away and this is telling you no don't do that they love they they are friendly they have aspirations goals dreams they want to find romance just as we do they're just as we are and makes a picture or a video like like the person saying oh yeah thank you you know the typical picture when you for example when I go to school uh, in my school we do doing good day and they will take a picture or they will record something like oh yeah say thank you uh colegio tal uh, school uh, mentioning the school so that they can post that no it's not like that it's so genuine they keep on making videos because it becomes a community their intro is the most beautiful thing ever it's i wish i could show it i don't know if it's allowed but i wish i could show it it's 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 Chris um, introducing everyone and saying that they're all a family and you can see like from the oldest of interviews everybody is pictured uh, it's draw in an animation form and and you can recognize them like they were little characters from a series and it's so adorable because everyone is together and yeah it's it's even the subtitles like they take the time to make the subtitles which is very obviously they have to because some words are inaudible but they have little colors everything is so like they really enjoy what they're doing it's a couple it's it's a couple that that does this chris and her and 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 his girlfriend and <clears throat> and it always makes me smile because their personalities they are so giggly they're so and it's as if they were going through nothing at all it is both inspiring and I'm sorry, I, I, I said I was going to keep quiet so that I can make this a sitting video, but I got so excited. Um, <laughs> um, yes, uh, so you should, you should watch them and you surely change your perspective on so many things for the, for the better. <laughs> that I wanted to talk about was one thing that I'm wearing right now, <laughs> uh, this fluffiness fluffy sweaters you can feel the texture it's a uh, polar i don't know how to say that in spanish no in english sorry uh but i think it's polar polar it's it's super 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 duper soft i'm sorry about the lighting it's super 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 soft and it has like 3d animals and one thing that i watch in this k drama called it's okay not to be okay which by the way you should watch it it's about mental health and it's portrayed in fairy tales with animations and drawings and then the actual characters in real life it's a korean drama which is um 
it, it treats mental illness in such a different way. It's amazing. It's totally amazing. Um, they, they have like a, as if it was a passage of the Bible, but it's just a story and it, it gives you like a message and that's how they begin every single episode. The main character, um, he works at a mental illness asylum, I think that's it, or a hospital. And he says that one of the things that the patients do, or he advised one of the characters in it to hug, hug themselves. And this was like the butterfly hug. And it was, uh, it was supposed to calm you down if you were about to do something that you pro probably wasn't good doing. And I've tried to do that. I've done that way before the K-drama told me to do it. So it does actually work. Like it's not a placebo effect that I started doing it after the Korean drop. No, like I was already doing it. And when I realized that it was actually a thing that was practiced by people like uh, who had obviously more severe uh, problems than I did, I was like, whoa, so it actually works. So it's so amazing how the human, I don't know how we is like how we come up with things that we've never seen or heard before. And they work because they were supposed to like, nobody discovered or put that on our face so we would imitate it we just did like i just decided someday i'm gonna put on this sweater every time i feel well it's actually not this one i'll go change i'll go change to change to show you which one it is uh it's my it's my specific every time that i don't know my parents argue or something is going very bad i put on that specific sweater but obviously any fluffy sweater will do or a blanket or a plushie <laughs> wait a second i use it um it's well all of them are a pajama but i like using them outside uh, wearing them outside but um i guess that i just got a costume because i used to wear it at night and then any night that i was feeling blue i would wear it so um actually this sweater's are very unusual to find, at least in the malls from my country, but um, these are from Oisho, and I love them so much. I actually got so sad yesterday because um, they. I, I tried to see if there if there were more so I could buy them this year because they're quite expensive. <laughs> so I only get to buy them every Christmas when I get my gifts from my aunt or a fairy godmother no and it's not a godmother no yeah and it's not a fairy it's a godmother that's how you say madrina so that's how i because they're 50 bucks each so i get one every year and i like it that way because then i value them a lot more and they're like a like a tradition <laughs> so um i just got very excited but they said that they were not uh they were not bringing them this year that they were from the last uh, season last year, but I think that if you live like in the United States or somewhere like that, they will still have this sort of um, shirt uh, sweaters. But that's just like a personal, very personal mine, uh, like preference to do. I just put it on, and it is so soft because like the fiber, the polar fiber, like it's not just any fluffy thing like, for me. For me, obviously anything can, anything will do. But for me, the the fiber is something. This is not even like velvet. It's not vel. It's way more deep than that. It's so amazing. It's a game changer for me. Seriously, <laughs> like they mean so much for me, and I, I don't. I just love them so much. Um, so yeah, uh, put on something fluffy and start hugging yourself. I especially love this part. <laughs> And I just remember that reminds me of the song by uh, that Sleeping at Last sings. I don't think it is his, but it is from the Christmas like album that he has, AP. I, I guess that's called uh, "Count Your Blessings Instead of Sheep." I think it's his. I, I'm not sure, but yeah. And now I just, I just, what I do is that I hug myself and I, I start counting. I, I write in my notebook because uh, I don't have like a journal per se. I'll make a video on how I journal because it's not journaling as you know it. <laughs> but I start writing a bunch of blessings and then I just feel so much calm and I go to sleep. So I just I just really wish I could have those Oisha sweaters again because they mean the world to me. Like seriously, there's nothing I look more forward to than these. I only have two. But there are so many designs that are like that, that, that have like uh, little animals and they're so soft and like, it's just, 
it's just so beautiful I love them so much and their quality is so good like it's worth every single dollar wait I have like a little list in here um wait me a second <laughs> if you will please um because I have this little like starter pack or like a um like a little package of like self-care for myself like a little list um, to calm myself down. Um, here it is. Um, <laughs> it's, uh, oh wait, I think it inverts, the video inverts it. It, it, it. it inverts it, right? Oh, well, um, I'll just, okay. Well, it says, calm yourself, sweetheart. And it, and it has little doodles of stars and hearts and stuff. The next fluffy tip that I have is if you have any like plushies or plushy pillows, I think plushy pillows are the best, don't feel afraid, no matter how old you are, to talk to them, caress them, pet them, cry on them, do anything you have to do but just to find some comfort in someone. Because sometimes we want to be gently calmed down by something or someone but they're not available for us so having a plushie is a must no matter no matter if you can sleep without it if you're not afraid of the dark anymore um having a plushie is just an essential so yeah keep keep a plushie and treat them as your friend take care of them it will make the focus to for the plushie's well-being it may sound so silly, but I swear, when you focus on trying to take care of something else, nurture and protect that thing, you're protecting and nurturing yourself. And your focus turns into a joy shift because you're thinking about the little puppy or the little animal or stuffed animal that you have. So, and your little friendship and connection with them. So yes, <laughs> vent to your plushies. If you have a music box, it is very, very, there's there's a reason why they're like lullabies and they put you asleep. I have this one. Wait me a second. <laughs> this is mine. Maybe you've seen it before. It's very rare to see music boxes um, in here in Panama, but like usually you have to order these online. Um, but there's been like a, like an Asian uh, wave uh, culture. So there's many like little stores, independent stores of people like you and me, which they order stuff online and they sell it in a physical store because there are not stores that actually do this. Like actual uh, Japanese or Korean stores like uh, Miniso or, I mean there are, but there are like very, very few of them. So that's what, that's like the trend over here that they just, uh, it's independent stores that bring them by, uh, by request of the, of the, of the customers. Um, and I say Asian because this is from Studio Ghibli. It has, wait a second, you'll see. Wait, it's not moving. Ooh. Okay, there we go. So it's that song. I bet you recognize it more than I do. I just got started listening to Studio Ghibli. Actually, this was for my ex-boyfriend because uh, he um, he was into uh, the movie uh, Spirited Away. Um, so I I I think this is from that movie, and I, I wanted to gift it to him uh, because it's not it's not it, and I I yeah I, I yeah. <laughs> so. The next thing that I want you to do, okay, sweetheart, is to put on your headphones. You don't even have to listen to music. It kind of blocks noise from outside, but also you can use the headphones and just, you know, play some uh, piano or some lo-fi. Um, no matter what people say, okay, lo-fi, lo-fi is good. It's great. Um, my favorite ones. Um, even though they don't like, it is very interesting. If you want, I could live the article. But they were talking about how uh, everything was considered lo-fi these days, and I get that that can be annoying, but I see nothing wrong with like lo-fi beats themselves. But my favorite um, artist of similar music, like like uh, contemporary like uh, background, but it's not background, like that's what I mean. I guess that's where they get offended. The, the artists that I'm mentioning are uh, City Girl and In Love With A Ghost. 
that they were the ones who got me into lo-fi lo-fi. I, I can admit some lo-fi is boring and repetitive, but uh, not all of it is that way. I have especially noticed that lo-fi uh, has so many beautiful little cute covers, uh, like on the, like, uh, drawn and little drawings and relatable titles about love, about rejection, about crushes, about so many things that we can all, it's, it's all so awkward, so, uh, like, so real and genuine and I don't know how else to explain it. It's just so silly and messy and fun. So, you can also, I know this is very unrelated, but listen to Chevy, Chevy. I live it down here as well, I live her channel. Chevy has the most unique voice I've ever heard. It's, it's so such a beautiful voice. Um, so listen to all those songs. City Girl, she has, she, uh, as I was saying, like there's this article, it's from BuzzFeed, so maybe it gets a bad rap and you won't want to read it anymore. I don't see the problem, but um, I thought it was a very interesting article. But their projects um, are all about making you feel in a certain scenario, like in a certain place. Like City Girl, from, for example, portrays everything about being in a new city on your own and your life and your start and, and the struggles of it. and and that, that's why the titles are stuff like go into a cafe to write private thoughts in front of strangers or a uh, rainy night in the apartment or etc et et and it's and you can literally feel it like you're transformed uh, transported uh, in there so yeah listen to some of that uh, or block everything with your headphones that you might be surprised about I have watched Dr. Seuss movies such as um the Grinch, obviously, and Horton, but I didn't know about Dr. Seuss per se, like I didn't grow up reading uh, his books, like over here there's not, uh, you know, all of those illustrators and uh, Beatrix Potter, we, we don't have that, um, or we did not have that in here, I know about these because when I was little, as I said, I had a liver transplant, so I had to go to Boston Children's Hospital. Otherwise, I would have died in here because um, no one, it was a very new thing and no, they, it wasn't practiced over here. So in there, there were many pharmacies and many, many libraries around that sell these uh, children's books, which are not found in Latin America or maybe not as much. Um, but I, I, I did watch Dr. Seuss movies and what I'm trying to get here is search up Dr. Seuss quotes or read one of Dr. Seuss books. I think what stood out the most was that last year I went to Universal Studios and you know that there's the Dr. Seuss world and they had in the corners and I had not realized this is not the first time that I go to Disney but I had not realized the quotes in there they're so silly and everything rhymes and then I got into the books and I was like oh my gosh like Dr. Seuss like it's an author <laughs> and I was so amazed by the quote I'll search it up okay wait wait a second I, it was so amazing and it just spoke to me so much and made me feel so happy I think it can make you feel just as relieved as it does for me sadly there are not that many but the few there are or maybe I haven't searched that well but every single one of them like it's just a life lesson something that you can take and it just helps me so much when I'm going through it to Lonesome Dreams the album by Lord Huron uh, you may know Lord Huron, he, uh, it's the band that played The Night We Met in 13 Reasons Why, but they are so much more than that. And they have this album called Lonesome Dreams, and it, it has its own little story, like alternate story with comics and everything about the old wild west and so many things like that. It's about adventure, and that's what I mean. Personally, it helps me a lot. Um, because I want to travel the world and sometimes I just feel like getting out of here especially when I feel just as overwhelmed when I'm having a meltdown and I just listen to it and I just I just listen to the imagery and I start imagining myself all of those scenarios and thinking that I'm going miles away with the frosty pines and the forest and the trails and the hidden paths and my date with destiny it's so 
it seems like fantasy, but it's not. And it, and it seems like you're not alone in the desire of leaving everything. It, it has so much, so much descriptions of going away and traveling, but it's not like fancy traveling. It's escaping and running and landscapes and nature and dreams and universes alternate from here. And it really helps me a lot. So I hope that all of this helps you and it's like a little guide, a little equipment for you when you feel like this. And if you're feeling like this, can I get a hug? Can I get a smile? Can I get a smile? Come on, give me a smile. <laughs> hug, 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 hug. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, promise me that you'll do one of these things so you feel much, much better. And uh, thank you for trying to find a solution to your issues and trying to do something about that sadness. That's a very great step. And so, um, yeah, bye, 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 bye.